So just removing the dust cover with a screwdriver and unscrewing the cap and this one comes off quite easily. Just using the screwdriver once again just to ply the um, bush out and it should come if it's not um, seized in there from electrolysis. In this case it comes out quite easily. See, it's quite worn. The uh, push is definitely um, uh, needs replacing. Okay, so this is the trouble side. Um, dust cover comes off easily, of course. But uh, yeah, this screw on cap is just. Uh, I found it afterwards. It's actually melted on there. So with the electrolysis uh, it's all seized up internally um, including the uh, uh, the bush itself um, severely uh, sort of like uh, melted into the plastic casing that holds the the brush uh, the bush so yeah actually the brush so um, yeah I try a few things I try WD-40 I try pliers um, and uh, I'll just show you how it I do get it out in the end. Okay, so the the dust cover, sorry, the uh, the cap is off, and now I'm just trying to get the uh, the bush itself out of there.
Bush, uh, it, it still hasn't come out, but part of the assembly has come out. So I'm still just playing around with power pliers, trying to uh, wiggle it all loose and get the uh, bits and pieces out so I can insert the new brush. So yeah, just using the pair of pliers just to try and wiggle that metal that's just uh, embedded in the plastic casing. Um, and now I'm using the pair of pliers just to try and ply it open a little bit wider to try and extract it. Okay, so I had to remove the, um, the, the motor and it's just four screws that just uh, hold it in place at the top. Take those out and just ply it open, pull it out. Um, yeah, so, and then that's allowed me to get a screwdriver and then just simply uh, push from one side. That's good. And then push into the housing on the opposite side where the bush is actually stuck. And just it just pops straight out. So, voila. So we still have trouble with a few bits and pieces of uh, metal that are still housed in there. So we just got to ply those out. Just having a little bit of trouble uh, getting a bush in, so on that side that was um, uh, mounted. So the plastic casing is just being plied open, just so I can get that uh, housing off that bush inside, and uh, yeah, holding it firmly while I screw the cap back on and tapping it in, and we're good to go.
Okay, so I can't find my um, uh, wrench to tighten up my um, blade. So I'll show you a trick um, just to uh, tighten your blades up on on any grinder. They just get two screwdrivers and uh, just put them put your grinder in a vise if you've got one handy if not put it between your legs and uh, what you do is you just tighten it up by making a cross and push your um, lock button in and just uh, yeah just turn it the right the right direction and you should be able to tighten up your blades so in the end I got uh, both bushes back in and I had to tape up obviously because I did damage the, one of the caps on the um, one side of the bush so we put some tape around there uh, just to make it dust proof so we don't get any dust inside the um, the unit so it should be all good and uh, there we go we've got that tight enough so now we can use 